earlier they closed. And now, your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Evans. And welcome back. The time right now is 6, 643. I had to look at the clock there. And uh, severe weather is going to pop up this afternoon. So I think we should jump right in and see what's going to happen here. And let's talk about... <clears throat> Uh, do you have a plan? I think this is kind of important to talk about before we get to the severe weather. Do you have a plan for the afternoon? Do you have a way to receive weather information if your power goes out? Is your cell phone battery charged if you can't use a landline? Do you have uh, you know, ways to receive information if you're in your, in your car driving like we saw last Thursday when people were on the highways because it was during rush hour? So these are things let's think about before we get you know, into the event this afternoon. Think about ways you would receive information and things like that this afternoon. All right, so timing, this is what we want to know. And I think after about 12 or 1 o'clock this afternoon, severe thunderstorms will develop in the western portions of the viewing area, and they will move their way east right along Highway 70 and affect all of us here in mid-Missouri. And impacts, I think we're going to see everything in the way of severe weather. All right, so our severe weather outlook for today, almost all of us are in a moderate risk. But I don't want you to focus on which color am I in, or am I in a slight, or a moderate. What you need to know is if you're in mid-Missouri, you're watching this broadcast, you're going to most likely be affected by severe weather. Severe weather will develop across the area, and uh, you know it's going to be a pretty serious event this afternoon. So we'll be here to keep you up to date on watches and warnings that develop here this afternoon. Severe weather threats, heavy rain will be a threat uh, like it has been the last two nights. Let's expect some flash flooding like we've seen. We've already commented on a couple of water rescues. So hopefully people will not travel on roads that are covered in water because it doesn't take much to wipe your car off the road. Other severe weather threats, tornadoes. I definitely think we'll see some tornado warnings uh, this afternoon. Some of those, yeah, I, I definitely do. Uh, large hail, I do think we'll see large hail. And then as these, as these storms congeal into a line, they're going to become more of a straight line damaging wind event. So that will be here later on this evening, but the primary in the, in the afternoon is going to be large hail and uh, some tornadoes. All right, so right now, what's going on? Temperatures across the area. We've been talking about this all day. Check out Columbia. They're checking in at 56 degrees, but look at Joplin. They're at 71. There's a warm front sitting across the area. You can kind of see it here where uh, the greens and the yellows meet. That's going to move north, and as that does, that's going to do a couple things for us. One, it's going to move warmer temperatures and warmer air in here, and two, it's going to move moisture in here and you can tell by the dew points here 50s across mid Missouri low 60s so we'll have two of the ingredients we look for when we forecast for severe weather we'll have those the third ingredients is going to be something to get that moisture to lift in the air and that's going to be a cold front it's going to really kickstart those thunderstorms satellite and radar now uh, still have some showers in there but that very loud batch of storms that came through early this morning that's on the way out and we're seeing some clearing off to the west so that's going to allow the sun to come out and we're going to warm up this afternoon uh, on the big view You'll see that, but you'll see all that clearing, and that's going to move our way this afternoon. Let's time it out hour by hour, and here's the warm front, and notice this is going to make its way to the north. That's going to open up the doors to moisture and warmer air. By the lunch hour, I think we're mostly sunny, uh, partly sunny, so we'll have some decent amount of sunshine. We're going to warm up, and this is when things start, start to get a little hairy. You'll notice these green blob, blobs, blibs all over the, the map. This is what I think is going to happen. Severe storms are going to break out. They're going to be small individual supercell thunderstorms. They're going to break out in our western counties. And as that happens, they're going to produce severe weather. As this cold front moves its way through mid-Missouri, say at 5, 6 o'clock around the, the dinner time, dinner hour, they're going to congeal into a line. And the main threats are going to be damaging winds, isolated tornadoes, and some hail. Uh, those will make their way on up by 9 o'clock. Well, they'll make their way out by midnight. By 9, hopefully, they'll be out of here, though. And uh, for tomorrow, we'll be cooler, but we'll also be on the sunny side. Let's recap the forecast for today. We'll be back into the middle, let's say middle uh, 70s. But severe weather will make its debut here for a second time in just a few days this afternoon. Overnight tonight, we'll be back into the upper 30s. Skies will become mostly clear for your Friday morning. All right, so we talked about Thursday, Friday, not a bad day. It'll be a little bit chillier compared to today, but it won't be as rough. And then for the weekend, not too bad, guys. Uh, but Monday and Tuesday, maybe another round of some showers. But what we need to focus on for today, Thursday, is severe weather, how it's going to impact us, and uh, how we're going to get warnings if, if you, you lose power or something this afternoon.